Okay, we're going to continue our top 12 driver press conferences in, uh, in advance of uh, Sunday's running of the Coca-Cola 600. Joining us now is Kurt Busch. He drives the number two Miller Lite Vortex Dodge for Penske Racing. And uh, Kurt uh, went in last Saturday night's NASCAR Sprint All-Star Race. Coming into the uh, 600, uh, your thoughts on uh, hoping to build upon that uh, victory? Check, check, one, two. Uh, I feel like it's uh, it's been a great week uh, with the celebration of the All-Star win. And uh, everybody at uh, Miller has, has been excited, especially with our promotion around the Vortex bottle. And uh, just the team. And we put together a team party this, this week at the shop on Wednesday afternoon. Uh, closed the shop down about a half hour early and uh, had pizza and beer for all the guys. And to see people hanging out afterwards, having a couple more beers and enjoying each other and talking with each other and, and and feeling that camaraderie it was really exciting for me to see that happen and you know the trophy was there everybody was was taking pictures with it and, and touching it and it, it just makes it an, an exciting week and uh, today when i drove into the racetrack i said all right you know this is the 600 weekend and we need to shift gears and so here we are we we had the same setup that we won the race with and, and we're excited about what it's um, given us so far as far as a feel in, in the hot daytime uh, versus what it had in the cool cool conditions the other night so we'll just go off that baseline um, and in years past here at the 600 uh, I've struggled uh, transitioning from day to night I feel like I've always had a better car in the daytime and then I've struggled at night so this time around um, we'd be we'd be foolish if we um, changed the setup too much from that all-star race and uh, base the setup around that. If we struggle in the daytime, we know that we can make it to the to the final portion of the race, hopefully, and uh, race them hard then. Questions for Kurt Busch. Uh, Tara has a mic, and I think uh, Andrea does too. Who's got a question for Kurt? Raise your hand. Tom Bowles has one right here to your right, Tara. Thank you. Tom Bowles, SI and FrontStretch.com. Kurt. I don't know if you know this, but Penske has never won a points-paying race at Charlotte, Roger Penske. And, you know, with the Indy 500 coming up, you know, he has a unique opportunity to win both the 500 and the 600 in the same day. I just was wondering if you could talk a little bit about that and whether this race carries a little bit more meaning because, you know, you could do something pretty historic if the guys at Indy follow through too. Yeah, it would be special. It was a great week for Roger last week on Saturday afternoon. He wins the, the Indy 500 pole again and... Uh, we were able to bring it home in the all-star race that uh, Saturday night. And, you know, to see his emotions, to see that smile on his face, yeah, he deserves it. He's worked that hard. And those IndyCar guys, it's funny. I mean, he's, he's won Indy 14 times. And on the stock car side, we were able to push together at least to get one Daytona 500 victory. And it's, it's funny I'm, how many wins he has on Memorial Day weekend up in Indy versus what he doesn't have down here in Charlotte. So if we can get that one... Uh, hopefully it comes this weekend, and it would be pretty special for us to do that. Uh, he's, he's got the best opportunity. He's got the best odds uh, to do the sweep this weekend with three cars up there and three cars down here. Go ahead, uh, Mike Embry. Mike Embry, SpeedTV.com. Kurt, I'm sure by now you've watched the replay of the uh, Kyle Denny situation last week a few times. What's your thinking on the protocol there? If you're in first and somebody's coming up hard on you on the outside, obviously has the momentum, uh, is there a give and take there at all, or does the leader have the right to move over into that outside lane and say, hey, you're, you're not coming there? Um, you know, I'll start with saying that it's, it's when teammates start to feud, it doesn't do anything good for the team internally. Um, and it usually starts from something on track. Uh, just like this, this season so far, we had Jeff Gordon very upset with Jimmy Johnson uh, after Talladega. And, you know, on the outside, uh, we always hope that uh, when, when you see top teams like that and top drivers feuding with each other, that it breaks it down a little bit and might soften them up to where uh, they don't run as competitive at the track. And so that's what you have to be careful of. But in the long run, you, you know that these guys will work it out, and uh, the guys at Hendrick, the guys at Gibbs, and 
and it, it might even make the team stronger with each one of them admitting their own fault and putting it behind them. I feel like um, Kyle had a, a good run to the outside of Hamlin, but in this type of race, anybody's going to put on a block. You got to be ready for it. And ultimately, uh, my little brother, you know, he, he made a mistake, got up in the fence, and and you know he, he's been running these all-star races for a few years now, and he's been at a thousand percent pace every year. It doesn't take a thousand percent pace to win it. 